In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your WordPress website navigation from this classic menu to this full screen navigation. And look at this beaut! And we'll make it work on tablets and on smartphones. Now, cherry on the cake, this is super easy to do for free and without any additional plugin, no matter which WordPress page builder you're using, with three easy steps and only one skill you need to succeed. Well, actually two, but it's almost the same one. Are you ready for it? It's this copy and paste. Now I'm left-handed, but it also works with your right hand. Hello, I'm Kay from the Asset Team. And before making videos here on YouTube, I used to own my own web design studio for years. And one of the things that helped me make a difference compared to my competition was to create custom sleek and modern navigation designs. So since this video is part of our eye candy web design series, I had to create a gorgeous full screen navigation. And here it is, let me show you. So first of all, here in the top right corner, you see our icon and look at the animation as I click on it. There you go, it goes from three lines to an X. All right, next we have this beautiful background and as you can see, it's semi-transparent. You can see what's going on there, but I could also make it fully opaque, so just one single color, but I prefer it with some semi-transparency. Next, we have our beautiful navigation here with sub-menu items. And the beauty of it is that we can change the colors through the Astra Customizer. So no need to go in the code to change the colors. All you need to do is go to the Astra Customizer, then go to Global Colors. And right here, we can change the colors. So for example, so this is our navigation right now. So for example, I'm just gonna change the color here. For example, let me pick this color here. Then hit publish and if we go to the front end let me close this so this was the current navigation now i'm going to refresh and now this is our full screen menu so as you can see super easy to customize but of course that's not all we can change the color of the text and also the color of the uh, background of the icon here and of these sub menu items and so by doing this you can see right now on screen some of the changes i made for example if you have a very specific website with specific color palette well you can really adapt this full screen navigation and make it look gorgeous no matter the color palette of your website now of course this also works beautifully on tablets and as you may imagine it works beautifully on smartphones now the website you're seeing right now was made with the elemental page builder but it also works with the spectra page builder or even with the wordpress core page builder now i did not test all page builders but since the script that by the way, you can download for free. Since this script relies on the free WordPress as a theme, well, it doesn't really matter which page builder you're using. And of course, if you're not subscribed, are you serious? Come on, it's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. So what do we need to build this gorgeous full screen navigation? Two elements. First of all, the free WordPress as a theme. And second, some code that you just need to copy and paste. So of course you'll find a link to download the script in the description of this video. And by the way, if you just want to quickly test this tutorial, but maybe you don't have a web hosting, well, you can just open your browser and just type try.new in the address bar, hit enter, and from there, it's going to create a WordPress install on the fly. Yes, for free. Now, this install is only valid for 30 minutes, but you can extend it for free by creating a free ZipWP account. All you need to do is click here and you can even log in with your Google account. Now to install the Astra theme, it's super easy. Just go to appearance themes, then click on add theme and you can either type Astra in the search bar or you should see it right here. So let me click on install and activate and voila. Okay, so now we can start. Step one, let's quickly add some pages. So for that, you wanna go to pages add page but instead of clicking on it i'm just gonna right click and open in a new tab so that i can quickly come back here to create additional pages now let me navigate to the new tab let me close this and i'm gonna name the first page one then i'm just gonna type here and type this is page one content as you can see you can even use the wordpress core builder which is what i'm using here but of course it's gonna work with elementor and spectra as i mentioned before it doesn't really matter which page builder you're using. Next, I'm going to hit publish and publish one more time. 
Now I'm just going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to do the same thing and create three additional pages, exactly the same model. So let me just save you some time. And with the magic of editing, here are my four pages. Now let's move on to step two, menus. So for that, we're going to go to Astra, customize, then go to menus, create new menu, and we're going to call it menu two pages. And we're going to make this menu our primary menu. Very important. Then click on next, click on add items. And here we're going to add one and two. So page one and two. Great. Now let's go back, click on create new menu one more time. This time we're going to call it menu four pages. Next, we're not going to click on primary menu for a moment. So don't click there. Just click on next, click on add items. And this time, as you may imagine, we're going to add one, two, three, four. But as you can see here, I'm going to drag and drop four under three because we want a sub item. So next, let's click on publish. Great. Now let's move on to editing our header. But before we do that, we need the code that you can get for free from the description of this video. So once you extracted the zip file, you have this folder. So I'm just going to open it and then you're just going to open this file. And now I'm going to select everything and then I'm just going to copy the whole code. All right. So next, still in the Astra customizer, let's go back. Let's go back again, then click on header. And right here in the header, we're going to click here on the plus sign, then scroll down until you see widget one. So click on it and next right here, click on widget one. So first time you need to click on got it. Then click on the plus sign and I'm going to start typing custom and there you go, custom HTML. So this is the block you want to use. So just click on it. Now, if there is anything here, you want to remove it. You just want this field here. So I'm just going to paste the code we just copied by using this shortcut. So let me paste it. And there you go. You can see now our navigation right here. If I click on it, as you can see, it works out of the box. Now to customize, it's super easy. So first of all, let's hit publish. So we save our work. Then let's go back. Let's go back again, then go to global colors. And the way we can change the colors here is with colors seven, eight and nine. So color seven here, if I click on it, I'm just going to use this color. And as you can see, it's not reflected right away. That's one of the caveats, but it's going to work. Let me show you. So I'm just going to pick this color here. This one is for the background color of our full screen navigation. So let me close this. Then we have color number eight. And if I click on it, this color is going to be for the background of the ellipse around the icon and also the link color. So the menu items color. So I'm just going to pick white. So that's easy. And the last color, color number nine. And for this one, I'm going to pick this color. And this color is for the color here of the icon itself. And also the hover color, when you hover over uh, an item here in the navigation. And also if you have a submenu item, there is like a little bubble that you can click on it with a plus sign. That's for the background color of the sub items. But I will show you. So first of all, let me hit publish and I'm just going to refresh. Next, let me click here. And as you can see, the changes are reflected. So we have the background color. Let me go back to global colors so you can see here. So this color is our background color and I made it transparent. So you have the transparency slider here. So as you can see, it's a little bit transparent. And right here, there's text behind. So if I click on it, you see the transparency. Now color number eight was just white. And this is the color of the menu items here and also the background of the icon here, the background of the ellipse around the icon. Next, we have this color here, so color number nine. This is the color of the menu bars here, so you can see here. And also, if I hover over the text, you can see this is the color we use. Now, it's also the color for the sub items. So for that, let me actually show you another feature of this code. So let me go back, back again. Now let's go to menus. And if you recall, we created two menus. This is menu two pages. We call we labeled it menu two pages. It's our primary menu at the moment. And we have menu four pages. So let's click on menu four pages. 
and we're going to make it our primary menu. So let me click here. And now if I open it, as you can see, that's our menu for pages with a sub item. If I click on it, we see page four. So as you can see that color, like I told you, so let me go back. So it will be clearer. Let's go back to global then colors. So this color here is used for the icon here, for the hover on the menu items and for the ellipse here of the plus and minus sign for the sub menu items. So as you can see, you have a lot of options. You don't need to go into the code to change the colors and you can change the menus on the fly. All you need to do is make any menu you create your primary menu if you want that menu to appear here in the full screen navigation. Now let's check that the links actually work. So if I click here on two, as you can see, this is our page two. Let's check page four. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And like mentioned out of the box, it works in responsive mode. So if I go in tablet mode and I'm just gonna click here, as you can see, it's working fine. And let's check in mobile mode. And once again, working perfectly. Even if we click here on the sub items, working perfectly. So let me publish my work so we can save our work. So this is our foundation. And once you got this foundation, you can build pretty much anything you want. And that's what I've done here. For example, if I open the full screen navigation, you see it beautifully matches the color scheme. And if I go to this website, we have this color palette looking beautiful. And of course it works here on tablets. And as mentioned before, it works also on smartphones. Now you may be wondering, how do I create such beautifully animated video backgrounds with features such as snap scrolling as I scroll vertically? Well, you're in luck because we created the iCandy web design series and I'll put the link of this playlist in the description of this video. So if you really want to level up your WordPress web design skills, you should definitely take a look at this playlist. You're welcome.